Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of Open Sesame. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. I obviously printed this one off, but it's four pages, double-sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. Very well done, should have you up and running in no time at all. And I can also teach you how to play the game right now, so thumbs up on the rule book. So in Open Sesame, what you're gonna be doing is you are going to try to get all of the pictures, the nine pictures up here, to match the nine pictures on the tile that is down here. There's a whole bunch of tiles that you'll be playing through. If you're the person who's able to successfully make this look like that, then you are going to get to unlock it and then start drawing from these tiles right here. Most of them will have victory points on them, but some of them, I believe seven of them, will have a snake on it. And if you draw the snake, then you get no points for that unlocking of the chest. What am I talking about? Let's go over the components, get in the gameplay, you'll quickly understand. So, what you're going to do is you're going to randomly select one of these at the beginning of the game. You're going to place it right here. So this one has a camel, camel, tower, rug, sword, thing. You get it. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to flip either, you're going to turn the dial on any one of these, either one, two, or three times, in the hope of getting to the picture. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go here. So I'll go one, two, three. Dang, I didn't get it. So that would be the end of my turn. And you can't turn it left or right. So now the next person goes and they can turn any of the tiles except for the one that you just did one, two, or three spaces. So let's see. They'll go to this one. They'll go one, two, three. Wow, they're terrible as well. Next person is going to go, maybe they'll go, uh, maybe they'll go right here looking for a rug. So they'll go, they're going to go that way actually. So one, two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> So then this person would go, the next person would go, because they just lost a turn, they'll go, one, oh, so there we go, boom, they did one, and now it comes sort of a memory game, because like, alright, let's see, they were going this way, so I'm going to do this one next, I'll go one, two, bam, uh, next I'll try these two, because they were both turning to the right, I think, so we'll go one, two, got it, one, two, got it, uh, we'll go down here to the tree, we'll go one, two, three, yes, got it, so this whole bottom row is done, that's done, that's done, let's go, let's go this way, this way, one, two, three, so bang, that person's turn would be over, it goes to the next person, uh, none of these are matched up here, so they would go one, two, three, ah, so the next person would go, one, two, nailed that one, and then they'll come back to this one, one, got, nope, two, and then they would have this, and then maybe they'll go this way, one, two, come on, don't do it, oh, I got it, so three, and then everything matches except for this one, so, all I have to do is get it, and they get to go searching. One, two, come on, come on, come on, three, oh no! So now it would go to the next person. And this is the one scenario in the game where you can turn whatever someone else was turning. So at this point, they would probably turn to the right, because they're, you know, boom. And they have completely unlocked it. They've unlocked the genie's chest. So what they do is they open it up, and now it becomes a pure press your luck game, in which you're going to draw one tile at a time until you either stop or you draw a red snake. So let's just go ahead and do this one first. And we got ourselves one point. Put it right there. Hmm. Uh, this one right this here. Oh, it's a snake. So that stinks. Close it up. You get none of the points. So this one point that you had earned, it is now gone. And both of these get discarded. The game is going to end when either... Uh, oh, and you get a new one of these, obviously. The game's going to end when you've gone through all of these or once all seven snake cards have been collected, at which point you will tally up your points. Now let's pretend that I didn't hit the snake. Let's pretend that I had gone, you know... I got three and two and two and three, and I'm like, boom, that's a lot of points. I'm happy. I'm going to stop. If you decide to stop, you put all this stuff in front of you. This cannot be lost. So let's say the next time you go, you draw a snake the first time. That's fine. You're still not going to lose the points that you collected. Once you have collected and you've stopped, those points are yours for the end of the game. Total up the points. Whoever's got the most points will be the winner of the game. And that, in a nutshell, is how you're playing Open Sesame. Oh, hi there! YouTube, I'm back again today for another game review. Today, very excited to check out Open Sesame from Ravensburger. This is for two to four players, ages seven plus. will take about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in Open Sesame, this is a game in which you are going to be turning little dials, trying to unlock, you know, I, I don't know, the genie's treasure chest or something. Once you've unlocked the genie's treasure chest by matching nine pictures, you are going to be able to do a press your luck style game where you're going to be reaching into the box and taking one tile out at a time, hopefully getting victory points because if you get the snake, you get no points for that round and you're going to rinse, wash, and repeat until uh, all the snakes are gone or until all of the cards, the locks, so to speak, are gone. It's a light, simple children slash family game, but is it good? Let's open it up. I'll show you how it works. 
Alrighty then, open sesame from Ravensburger. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Uh, one of the big reasons is that it's children slash family. Those are the only categories that I'm going to put this at. It's not a party game, it's not a game night game, it's not a, a gateway game. It is a very light, simple, repetitive, press your luck, memory, children's game. And that's not going to be for everybody. Just pure and simple. Uh, another comment I have of this game is that people who have better memories are going to do a lot better in this game. Because if you can remember which dials people have turned and uh, which direction they're turning them, you, you're pretty much aces. Like, that's that's one of the big things. And I've seen kids who have good memory just absolutely dominate at this game. If you can remember that, those two things, which ones are picked, which way were they turned, you're going to win the game a lot of the time. Uh, it is also press your luck, so there's a good deal of luck in this game, which might be a turn off some people. You know, you might go 10 tiles without drawing a snake, or you might just draw a snake your first time, and that's, that's unfortunate. Also, sometimes, especially when you're playing at the higher player counts, uh, with three and four, I guess I should say, so four primarily, and I had this happen one time, a kid was not able to ever search, and that, that is a little bit of a bummer. You know, they were like bummed out because they never got a search, not even once, so they ended up with zero points. And that, you know, that's it's a little bit disheartening. But hey, that's the nature of the beast with a game like this. Any other cons that I have with the game? You know, it's repetitive. You're going to do the same thing over and over again. They do say you can switch out the dials from time to time, but I wish the dials were a little bit more varied. Maybe just put, like, one extra little symbol on there. I don't know. Moving on to the pros, I think Open Sesame is a great children's game and a good family game. So I brought it in my classroom. Kids went nuts for it. They, they really, really, really like the game. And just... To refresh you on what I feel oh, the difference is between a children slash family game. Family game is a game that you need an adult there to or in order to play the game. You know, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time, you're still going to need an adult there. Like your Ticket to Ride style games. Children's game is a game that once you play it a couple times, kids can go off and play it by themselves and teach each other the rules. And this falls into the children's category, which always, always is something that I love. And actually, I've watched some kids, after I'd played this three times with them, play it and teach it to other kids and they played it for probably about a solid hour they really enjoyed this game so i'm going to say that this is a great children's game for kids ages five five plus i'd say five to about ten i think is where you're going to get the sweet spot for this game that being said it's still a good family game as well too i really enjoyed playing this game with the kids uh, it was fun. I like the pre I love pressure lock style games, which obviously is a good thing. Uh, the components are nice since we're on the pros now. The components are nice, and I like how it opens up, and the kids think it's really cool. I wish it did actually lock, but there's no good cheap way to do that. And the kids like to pretend like they're opening this magic chest, and uh, yeah. So I like that aspect of the game. And in the end, open sesame. You're probably gonna be able to find this. If you go out thrifting or something like that, definitely one I can recommend if you have kids between the ages of 5 to 10 years old. The kids in my class really, really like this. So in the end, Open Sesame, great children's game, good family game. Uh, one that I absolutely can recommend if you can find it going into my classroom collection. So there it is. Open Sesame from Ravensburg. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite Disney movie of all time. Animated Disney movie. We're going to keep it purely animated because then we're bringing in Star Wars and we're bringing in superheroes. And I want to do that. I want to talk about just animated. That's really difficult for me. It used to be Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 used to be the magnum opus. But man, I kind of I kind of feel like it might be Toy Story 3 now. Because, I'll be honest with you, I was crying like a baby a couple scenes in Toy Story 3, and it just ugh, got those emotional heartstrings so well. Uh, but Aladdin, definitely up there. I really love Aladdin. Uh, Lion King's up there as well. Um, the space one they did. It's not Titan AE, but, uh, but, but the other space one they did, which was a take on uh, Treasure Planet. I really like Treasure Planet a lot as well. It's a really hard question, but I'm going to go with Toy Story 3, I think, right now, even though I am super hyped for Toy Story 4. But let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite Disney animated movie? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.